welcome back to the Tarot Beats. Debbie here with your message for on or around the 21st of March, the first day of spring. Well, let's see if there's any love in the air. We will give the cards a couple to start as well. Okay, what do we have for the 21st of March? 23. We start off with our oracle. What's the message of the day for the twenty first? Okay, then we're gonna have passion ignited. Okay, so there may be some love in the air then. Okay, what's coming in first? Passion ignited. Nice. The Nine of Swords, there's that fear. And he's looking right up. The Four of Cups, we've got offers. Not ready, not ready for these offers. What is going on? Not ready. Can't decide. Queen of Pentacles, career, vi career vision. The tower, he does want to come out that tower. Has it been sudden? Something suddenly, let's split the deck. Okay, we've got an accomplishment. The accomplishment is around um, the home somehow. There's a celebration around the home, okay? Uh, this could be, this could be a marriage, okay, with those cards together. This could be a housewarming, you may have moved home or something like that recently. Why have we got that Dark Knight of the Soul coming there? Our missing fox. The Wheel of Fortune. Change. We're scared of change. Absolutely scared of change. But this is fated. Maybe you feel it that this is some sort of fated love connection. And it's scary. We have the Four of Cups here, the Page of Cups. Here we go. It's the love offer. There's a love offer coming in. We might even have more than one. Like I said, I've seen three coming in recently. Um, one in particular. I feel there's one love in particular that has sparked something up inside you. And I've, I've, I've been getting the same message for a few days. There's a connection. You've made a connection with somebody. You've definitely not been open, not been open to that in the past. And now we've got, something's keeping you up all night. Something's keeping you up all night. It's worry, anxiety. And here I've got the career-driven card in the future there. It's usually a feminine energy, the Queen of Pentacles, but very, you know, a very keen businesswoman. Very, very good, good in business. The Eight of Pentacles, again, there is the hard work. So this is you hard at work and it's building yourself up. It's working on yourself, on your coin, on your value, not just material. I think this is working on yourself as well to become the best version of yourself. You know, that's where the focus is. But right now there's this love that's really knocked you for six. Let's take another look at what we've got. Let's take a deeper dive into the past current here. The Ten of Pentacles, that's, that is being perfectly happy with what you've got. That is having everything you want. I feel like you've, you've achieved something in life. We're seeing it there. You've had a victory. You may have a home. This is about the home, and to me, this is about having that firm foundation, this firm structure of home. Okay, You might even have a family, you might have older children, something like that around you. You know, Usually, it's, it's a more mature energy that we're getting with that card. What else? So that's you, and you're very comfortable. King of Pentacles. Okay, is that the offer? I mean, again, this King of Pentacles here could be somebody who is very wealthy. They could have a really big home, actually. Seeing, um, I'm here in the King of the Castle. I'm the King of the Castle. Um, 
it could be an older man I'm getting that is maybe a more mature person for sure, much more mature person, somebody who has built up a success, very successful business and had a big victory at work. This is somebody who everyone looks up to. There's a lot of status around this person. That's what I'm picking up there. The star, again, it's your wish come true. I feel like this person is your wish come true, but they're bringing you so much anxiety. They're bringing you so much anxiety and, and, and the message is clear again, you know. Let's move to the past. Why have we not been ready in the past? Okay, because there's been some reassessment there. We've been reassessing goals in the past. Six of Pentacles. So this is about giving our time to others. Okay, so your time has been spent on others. And I feel that's more about your work life again. And you've been trying to get a work life balance. I see that. Um, you've took a judgment call. You've took a judgment call on that. You know, you've, you, you've, you've been there for other people. You're very charitable. The two of wands, you're planning, making, I see that there with that card too, planning. You've been busy making plans. You're there, you sat there busy making plans, you're quite comfortable, there's definitely a good balance there, particularly at work, you know, I do see that. Um, and then it's like, somebody has come in and it's set you back, and maybe, or maybe you've sat back and thought, now is the time. You know, now is the time to meet somebody. I've got everything I want in my life, but I've not got that special person. You know, that can be another meaning to that four of cups there. That you sat back thinking, right now, what do I do? I've got options. Where do I go with this? You know, the world's my oyster. So if that's where we've been in our mindset in the past, where's our head at right now? Three of cups. Again, I'm seeing celebration. I'm seeing happy times with friends. Six of cups. Nostalgic. Very nostalgic. Past memories. Thinking about the past. You perhaps maybe with the friends from the past. You may be reconnecting with friends from the past. The ace of cups. Right? Same card. That's where our mind's at right now. So this could be somebody from the past that's coming in. Doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be an old flame or an old friend. Doesn't necessarily have to be at all. They might be reminding you of someone from the past, yeah? They might be very similar to someone in the past. Somebody who might have hurt you in the past, yeah? Um, The message to me is clear. Your cup is overflowing. Your, your passion is reignited. Something has been sparked inside you. It seems like a wish come true, this. Uncertainty. What's the uncertainty here? There's sabotage going on. The sabotage going on. Again, we've got the past coming up prevalent. Somebody from the past wanting to sabotage. Is someone from the past wanting to sabotage? Are you wanting to sabotage? There's an untrustworthy person here. There's an untrustworthy person here. Are you worried that they're going to ruin it for you? That one was reversed. Five of Swords. That was reversed there then. It flipped itself. Yeah, you're looking back on the past there. Uh, with Somebody's looking back on the past with maybe some regret. Yeah, there's, just, there's necessary changes have to be made. I've dropped two cards, just bear with me. Necessary changes and adjustments have to be made. Yeah, they have to be made. And, and you know it, and, and it fills you with some dread. There might be somebody there who has some regrets. What fell out? 
Somebody's walked away. Somebody's walked away. Because it's been too much like hard work. And now feeling regretful. Did you turn down an offer? Have you turned down an offer that's come in due to internal fears, sabotage, self-sabotage? You've walked away because something just seems like too much like hard work. You want to concentrate on yourself. Your projects, wherever you're going in life. Your work, your study. Your career. What's going on there in the future? The Knight of Cups. The cup, but they're going to persist. They're still going to come in. Three of Pentacles. Work. You might meet somebody at work, by the way. Page. Yeah. You might. Uh, you might have some other offers coming in, in in the, in the work. I see. You're definitely going to have more offers. <laughs> You're definitely going to have more offers. Uh, you've got someone very romantic and charming coming in here. They could be coming in through the workplace. I see this as somebody is collaborating with you already. Maybe a friend or at work. Um, and they have something definitely of value to offer you. So, you know, depending on what you choose here, there's going to, there is going to be... I feel like this is somebody else that may be coming in the future. This one right now seems like hard work for some reason. Maybe they ghosted you or something like that. Maybe they were messing you around playing games or something like that. You just decided to walk away. Whatever it was, it was too hard work. It was hard work. The choice was go, stay or go. And you cho chose to just to just pack your bags or, you know, move on. Move on to the next. Move on to your work. You know, get your head in the work again. Let's have a final message. Ten of Wands. Yeah. It feels like a burden right now. It absolutely feels like a burden. Um, it's a weight on your mind, this, what's going on right now. The decisions that you're having to make. I see somebody kind of reflecting very much on the past, on past her, on past unhappiness. I see you backtracking, going back to this planning stage as well. I see somebody who is returning back to the planning stage. Back to the drawing board. I feel like that's that's how it is. It's back to the drawing board. Okay, that didn't work out for whatever reason. It's back to the drawing board. But there's certainly been a spark. In there's certainly, excuse me, the camera went off again. There's certainly been a spark ignited, you know. And that's done something for you. It's done something for your confidence. But it's been hard work. It was too hard work. You've got enough on your plate. I feel like you've got enough with work. You've got enough to do without taking on another extra responsibility. You know, it's, you reflect. You are reflecting on the past. I do see somebody's reflecting on the past. Um... I don't think that's particularly helpful for you. But as we're going on, moving on, another love coming in. Another love coming in. I think you've got various offers of love. Okay, what can we get from the universe as a final card today? The moon, which I don't think we've had come out this deck before something else came out as well the poppies the high priestess and the moon you're using your intuition something's not something didn't feel right here something definitely didn't feel right here you might have some regrets about it um a little bit of sadness about it, but you went with you you went with your gut decision, you know, you're going with your gut decision, your instincts on this.
And there was some uncertainty here. There was some uncertainty and you want to know. You like the knowledge. You need to know what's going on. This person was ghosting you or was keeping secrets from you or something like that. And that was enough for you to say, uh, uh, game over. You know, that that is how I, I see it. That's how I see that reading there today. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please do give me a big thumbs up and subscribe, please. If you're not already, I would really appreciate your support. As always, I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, take care.